Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem seven point eight five. The statement of problem is that the 38 mm diameter shaft AB, this is shaft AB having diameter 38 mm made up of grade steel for which yield strength is 250 MPa using maximum shear stress criteria determine the magnitude of torque T, this is torque T for which yield occurs when P is equal to 240 MPa. So let's start with given data. In given data, it is given that sigma yield, which is equal to 250 megapascal, clear. Diameter of the rod is equal to 38 millimeter, clear. And you, you will have to find torque T, clear, that is applied on this shaft for when yielding occur when yielding occur so this is very interesting problem let's start with the solution also you know that uh, we will use the maximum shear stress criteria so you will need to find the principal stresses that is sigma a and sigma b now you can see there is a load P applied in X direction. So there will be only tensile load. So sigma X is equal to P by A. Clear. Now P is given that is 240 kN and A can be found by using this diameter. So P is equal to 240 into 10 raised to power 3 newton, And area is equal to 5 by 4 into d square and that is 38 square so when you calculate it this area will be equal to 1.134 into 10 raised to power 3 millimeter square or this area in term of meter will be equal to 1.134 into 10 raised to power minus 3 square meter so you have P and A, you can put it over here. So sigma X will be equal to 2240 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 1.134 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So this stress sigma X will be equal to 211. And you calculate it, it will be 211.62 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal clear so means 211.62 mega pascal also from this diagram you can see let me show you that there is no stress in y direction so sigma y will be equal to 0 clear now shear stress is also not given over here so we will find it of x y is not also not known so you can see that uh, for sigma a and sigma b we know that sigma a is equal to sigma average plus r and sigma b is equal to sigma average minus r clear so sigma average is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 Sigma y is 0, so it will be sigma x divided by 2 and sigma x is equal to 211 by 2. Clear? So sigma x is only equal to sigma x divided by 2 because sigma y is equal to 0. Okay. Now, we also know that this r is equal to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of xy whole square clear now this r is this is not known tau of xy is not known and we know that uh, from our mohor circle that tau max is equal to r 
player uh, sorry tau max is maximum shear stress is equal to r clear so as tau max is equal to r i will write over here now from tresca criteria or maximum shear stress criteria we know that this maximum shear stress this maximum shear stress should be less than shear stress in yielding and this maximum shear stress is less than sigma yield divided by 2 clear so here means sigma y is equal to 2 times of share maximum share stress okay so this is 2 tom x is equal to sigma y now you can see that this r is equal to tom x uh, this tom x is equal to r so two if we i multiply two on both sides so it will be equal to two tom x is equal to this sigma y clear so this 2 tom x is equal to 2 r instead of this i will write 2 r is equal to sigma y so as r is equal to this so let me write r is equal to sigma x minus sigma y is equal to 0 divided by 2 whole square plus tau of x y square under the root clear so r will become equal to sigma x square over 4 plus tau of x y square under the root when you further simplify it it will be equal to 4 sigma x square plus tau of x y square again if you take out this 4 so this will be equal to 1 over 2 and that will be equal to 2 r is equal to sigma x square plus uh, again this is 4 yeah, because in lcm it will be 4 so 4 into tau of x y square under the root so this 2 r is equal to this now we can see that this 2 r is equal to sigma y so instead of this 2 r if i write sigma y which is sigma yield is equal to sigma x square plus 4 tau of x y square clear so we are interested in finding out tau of x y so we'll take the square on both sides so that will be equal to sigma yield square is equal to sigma x square plus 4 tau of x y square clear so 4 tau of x y whole square will be equal to sigma yield square minus sigma x whole square again if you divide it by 4 so tau of x y square will be equal to sigma yield square minus sigma x square divided by 4 and this tau of x y will become equal to 1 over 2 into under the root sigma yield square minus sigma x square now you have both the value you can put 1 over 2 sigma yield that was given as uh, let me check above sigma yield is 250 megapascal so we'll write the 250 over here 250 square minus sigma x is 211.6 megapascal 6 square under the root so tau of x y comes out to be 66.53 mega pascal now this is the shear stress layer as we know that from torsion from torsion that shear stress tau x y is equal to t into c divided by j layer you you this is a 
circular cylindrical rod so c is the radius of that which is 38 divided by 2 and j is the polar moment of inertia and this j is equal to pi by 2 c4 where c is the radius so pi by 2 and c is 38 divided by 2 to the power 4 and when you calculate it and convert into meter it will be 204.71 into 10 raised to the power minus 9 meter 4 clear we are going to find out the torque that can be applied so t will be equal to tau of x y into j divided by c so put the value t tau of x y is equal to 66.53 into 10 raised to power 6 because it is in mega pascal j is this one 204 Point seven one into ten to the power minus nine layer and C is equal to thirty eight divided by two, which is equal to nineteen millimeter. And when you convert it, it will be zero point zero one nine. Okay, meter. So this torque will be equal to when you solve this will be equal to 717 newton meter clear so this is the torque that can be applied because we have taken here the maximum sharing stress equal to or less are equal to sigma yield and sigma yield is equal to 2 times max sigma max tau max clear so this is the torque value that can be applied on this shot with a p loading of 240 kilo newton which caused the yield to occur i hope you have enjoyed thank you